So, so hey guys, this is Lissy Gail Parry. Today I'm joined by my good friend Keith across the pond in uh, America. And first of all, hi Keith. And we do a lot of um, things that are similar. I guess that's how you found me. So please uh, feel free today to share your experiences and your journey with us. Thank you so much, Harry. Uh, it's uh, like I was telling you, I'm thrilled to have that chance to, to speak with you face to face. I appreciate your authenticity and your truth and, and your surrender and, and your sharing. Uh, it's beautiful and inspiring and helping so many people. Yeah, but how old are you, by the way? 30, 30s? Uh, late 30s? 40, 49 this year. Wow. 49 years. You don't look it. Yeah, no. I, I, the other day, I was hiking with my with my children that are nineteen and twenty one, and I started having a conversation with a gentleman about health and wellness and Ayurvedic, you know, information. And and I was like, oh, you know, my children. He's like, your children? I thought you were just like their friend. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, the beautiful thing is, yeah, I'll be almost. 50 and I feel better than I did when I was 20 running cross country in, in college. Wow. On every level. On yeah. every level. Yeah. Every level. It blows my mind. I know you have the same moments where you just kind of have like a little giddy laugh, almost incredulous of how our bodies actually work when you figure it out. Yeah. 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 Our bodies are all powerful, but they don't tell us that. They tell us we're yeah. pathetic and yeah. funny. They don't. Yeah. Like when I figured out, when I realized I was sunproof and I didn't get sunburned anymore, I was so happy. I was just skipping around laughing and smiling and dancing a little jig. I was like, how cool is that? <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so so my, my, my journey started with, with teeth. Mm -hmm. I was having a lot of challenges with my teeth like over 10 years ago. And so, I was just like, well, this just doesn't make sense that my teeth are falling apart. Mm. I got to figure something out. And then I went down the whole rabbit hole of, oh my goodness, they're poisoning us with fluoride. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, and, and seeing through the veil and the truth of everything. And, you know, I went through various stages of being freaked out and, and just, you know, you know I, I tried hundreds and not thousands of herbs and different products, you know, looking to figure out the answer. And... Um, so after trying all those things over many, many years and still having challenges with my teeth, um, the first thing that, that really was a big, uh, you know, and I think a big part what happened with my teeth, I think a lot of it had to do with emotions. I went through a challenging divorce. Mm -hmm. Um, I think a lot of people start having challenges with their teeth with emotional situations. Oh, when they're stressed and emotional, yeah, makes sense. When they're stressed and emotionally, yeah. Mm. I think that's, a, that's a big whammo. And so ultimately, um, I saw some, I was, I was looking for something about rebuilding teeth, and I saw something about urine therapy. And I was like, that makes so much sense. Mm. And the first sip that I took, I knew it was the answer. I knew it right away. I know, I was like, okay. I'm not gonna have to worry about getting cavities in. And so from there, uh, obviously my health began transforming quite a bit. Mm -hmm. And my teeth started, you know, healing and, and not getting cavities anymore. And then I also got into uh, fulvic humic acid. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's nice uh, stuff. Yeah, good stuff. Yeah. I still have a couple bags. I appreciate having Oh, me too. Yeah, smart. Yeah. Huh. Uh, DMSO is something I've also used. Uh, uh, Zalmanov uh, emulsion pine gum baths for the capillaries. Uh, uh, BFNC powder by Dr. Christopher's. Oh, not that Cartilage, which I really like. It has the comfrey in there. Mm. And uh, it's just something that I have a, feel like it has a big healing effect on my body. Um, magnesium oil. And so, you know, I, I was doing a lot of these all at once. And, you know, 
my daughter was looking at me like, uh, are you okay? Because you smell kind of funny. Oh, what was that? The aged? The smelling funny, the urine? I think, I think maybe, you know, a combination of the DMSO and just that I was detoxing so many toxins and, mm. and, and whatnot. You know, they, they smell interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I don't know what you've experienced, but I've experienced a lot of uh, detoxing along meridian points. Do you get like that's like, interesting oozing and and like sores along meridian points? No, no. I saw your post on the Zeng lens you done recently. You said that you got from the meridian points. I found that interesting. Yeah. Like, yeah, because like there there was one like here on my back. Like after I did the Zen cleanse. Like, you know, I could see that it was like a little bit of like crustiness there from some, some you know, blood that has started coming and I scraped it and for almost like 20 minutes, it just kind of kept flowing out wow. and yeah. each passing minute, it felt like, like I could breathe easier. Mm. It, it literally felt like energy was running from my hand all the way down out of wow. whatever this, whatever kind of energetic, emotional you opened up. The portals opened up the blockages. There, slowed out. Yeah. Huh. So, so I, you know, I kind of called because I was doing all these things at once and not always necessarily being so careful with the dosages. Right. Yeah. Huh. And I, I call I call what I do uh, kamikaze detox because <laughs> I'm just ready for it to get out. Yeah. Yeah. And. And uh, and then I've also some, uh, you know, you know, so, someone recently said they don't like calling it sacred medicine because medicine implies that you know you're sick and you need healing. So we'll call it sacred nourishment. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sacred nourishment. So, I, so I've done some sacred nourishment that I feel are really important to my uh, detox journey as well. Uh, mm -hmm. I did. Uh, Two times I did uh, combo with Bufo later in the day, uh, about about a month and a half apart, with an eight day fast in between. Wow, that's good. Yeah, very good. I, I was, that was a big shift. Big shift. Mm. Uh, the, the second the second ceremony is the one that I have. Second Bufo ceremony I did is the one I, that I have uh, recorded and posted, and it has. Uh, over 3,000 views already and a lot of people are, are are connecting with the experience and I'm going to have a podcast actually uh, like a discussion group of people who who have experienced uh, sacred nourishment in particular mm -hmm. Bufo and their experience and, and you know how they felt and what they felt it changed mm -hmm. so that was powerful and then I went to Texas for the first time in my life and, uh, for an event, and I brought all my music, musical equipment. I'm a musician as well. And I decided I was essentially going to have a, a spirit quest while I was out there and stay however long my heart told me to. Oh, nice. Yeah. And so I stayed for two and a half months. <gasps> wow. Yeah. In the middle of nowhere, just doing your thing. In Austin, Texas, yeah. So basically, I was there, and and my my intention was to magnify love, like just wherever I go, just just be love, magnify love, like lift people up. One day, like there was this magician that had just this very kind soul, I could tell, and he was young and he was out there doing his thing. I could tell he was getting a little discouraged at times. So I spent like four hours that day being his hype man, getting people to come over and watch magic tricks with friends um, and uh, I played music I went to uh, conscious conscious festivals conscious music festivals mm -hmm. and I got healings with crystals and 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 just with seeing people that were a light just like you and I you know when you get around you know what it's like when you get around your tribe and you get them to see a whole bunch of people reflecting Yep. the energy that you give out back to you and you're like wow that must feel awesome for people to be around me mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know what i'm talking about i do yep yep <laughs> and 
so yeah, so I was out there and then I found a farm that they're looking to build a conscious community there and sustainable food garden and, and they already have a bunch of animals and, and the guy who's running it has a beautiful soul. So I basically stayed at the farm for over a month just helping magnify the farm. And, and then I'm now, now I'm back in New York where my kids are and doing some things here and I'm planning to head back and magnify love some more in Texas. And, and, uh, and I'm also uh, doing something called Earth Dogs, which is basically, you know, people going out with a, with a bag to pick up the, the poop for their dog. Why not grab another bag and just pick up some litter too while you're at it? Nice, yeah. And so, so I have a bunch of different initiatives, basically to, to spread love through that way and through through music and sound healing. Um, while I was out there, I also did uh, some some silo. Silo psilocybin. psilocybin. Oh yeah, of course. Yes, I've also gonna say that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So most of microdosing with that, I haven't really done like a full journey with that. Mm -hmm. which I plan to do at some point mm -hmm. uh, and really appreciate it, the heart opening and the hape. Hape, yeah. Hape, hape, yeah. Mm -hmm. I like that. I like hape. I feel like it's, uh, it's grounding and clarifying. It is, isn't it? Yeah, grounding. Yeah, very. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I appreciate it. And it opens up your your breathing, which is always beautiful. Mm -hmm. uh, I also, while I was out there, I had the opportunity for peyote. Oh, wow. That's San Pedro or Mesclin. They're similar. Kind of along, I believe, yeah, it's along those lines. Yeah. Oh, wow. I want to do that one. I haven't done that yet. That's cool. <laughs> so, uh, so that was interesting. That, you know, that one, well, that one taught me, you know, that one, was, see, for me, the bufo was, beautiful because I'm, for me it's always been about my my head getting in the way mm. and the bufo you, you don't have a chance for your head to get in the way mm. Pe peyote was about like okay can you sit here and be present and be still and focus all night mm. yeah <laughs> you know it's like you know it really makes you look at yourself yeah 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 uh, and uh, and then when I returned, I had a, a weekend where I did Aya two nights mm -hmm. and had a combo session in between. Nice. Mm -hmm. And that was also pretty monumental shift in presence in the moment. Mm -hmm. and, and then I did Zen cleanse. <laughs> then you did the Zen, yeah, yep. Also the the root stuff too. You you like the root supplements a little oh, bit. Oh yeah, right? and so yeah, so I've also I I I was started you know doing the 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 root even before with the root. It's interesting. It's like you know for me. Mm -hmm. Like I said, I've had you know a good amount of purging through the different spots along my meridians, and there's times where the energy that I feel is pretty intense, like where you know your whole skin is just like itching or almost on close to be feeling on fire a little bit, and and it's like sometimes, especially in the afternoons, I'll get it like in my lower legs where maybe they'll get like swollen, and I'll just feel a lot of energy down there and that's when i'll do like a soak with like some mustard seed and some epsom to, to to help just relieve some pressure and just pull some stuff out and the, the beautiful thing about this den cleanse mm. is that like before, sometimes it felt like, so So I feel like maybe like the root was just making it a little too intense at times. Really? Too intense? The, the, the clean slate drops and... 
Yeah, because and it also again, like I was kind of just not even sometimes keeping track of how many drops I was popping in throughout the day here and there. And so 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 I took a little break from it. And now I've been starting back up again. Mm -hmm. And I especially appreciate the the zero in. Oh yeah, yeah. The wake up. Because I, I I pop like four of them like you do. Oh smart, yeah. <laughs> One go. Uh -huh. And you have you have really just the focused, joyful, productive flow. Yeah. You do. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and I also appreciate ooh. All right, I'll find one. I also appreciate, uh, I got the books that you sent, signed. Thank you so much, brother. It's all right, brother. The Asian, Asian, one of them. Yeah. Um, so yeah. honored, so honored to have books signed by the author. <laughs> <laughs> it's not cool like that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And so I've been reading the one on uh, on the root products. Oh, yeah, I sent you that too. Yep, yep. Mm. Yeah. And I appreciate um, how you were talking about using it on your skin. Yeah. Yeah. The, uh, the uh, Restore. Mm -hmm. So now I've been, as I, because I've been also taking the Restore every day, and I agree they're absolutely delicious. They are the best tasting supplements for me. The really best good. tasting. Really good. So good. And, so and good. I, I can't buy them too much because I just eat the whole packet too quickly. <laughs> No discipline. <laughs> I hear you there, brother. There's certain things that I'm mm. definitely cultivating more discipline in. Mm. <laughs> and uh, I've been using it now instead of, you know, before I was just kind of cutting it open at the end, using what was left to smear on. And now I've actually been taking some of the pack and just, you know, squeezing it out and applying it on my skin. kind of like, like a whole body rub with it, the restore with it in certain ways and i feel like it's really been helping especially you know the spots that have been uh detoxing and purging on my skin and and of course just energized and you know how well your skin absorbs things mm -hmm. yeah so i appreciate that insight and, and and i appreciate your books i appreciate the humor i appreciate i appreciate all the testimonials because for me for me, the proof is in the pudding. Mm. I don't care what study says what. If you have a history of people saying, I did this or I took this, and this is what happened, and I felt better. Yep. What else matters? Exactly. What else matters is for you to try it, to believe the testimony is enough to give your own experience, and then your own experience will teach you the truth on it. That's all that matters. Exactly. 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 You, you you can listen to the to the diagnosis, but not the prognosis. Don't listen to the, anybody tell you what's going to happen with your body that you know a lot more and are a lot more intimately connected than anybody else could possibly be. Yeah, exactly. So, uh, How do so, you use your age urine? How do you use it all over the place? Do you do it a little bit every day? I use it all over. I use I use nose drops. I use the all over my body, I drink it, I swish it, I enema, enema with aged and some things like uh, and some uh, black oxygen sprinkled in. There. Oh, okay, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, uh, and I've also done foot soaks with it and. So yeah, ear drops I've done with it. Pretty, pretty much, you know, swishing with it. That's really good to swish with it. Mm -hmm. And especially for your oral health. And oh, well, I'm uh, tasting like coconut water today for sure. Oh, nice. Loop in the fresh. Sunshine. One of my favorite glasses to drink it out of. <laughs> yeah. Uh so my uh, my 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 clean slate one uh, process was uh, 
not necessarily by the book, 100%. And I was determined to get it done that day. And I didn't have the distilled water to start the day. So I went to go get the distilled water and ended up starting the, the cleanse maybe like around 1130. And I ended up throwing up a little bit mm. on the second and the third packet. Mm. Wow. Interesting. You know, yeah. it is what it is. Uh, I'm like, well, I already started this thing. Let me just keep going. And super grateful that I did. Uh, next packet, I was able to keep down and just kind of kept flowing through it. And I didn't really have much come out that first, anything really come out that first day. Mm. Is this with the same cleanse you're talking about, or the risk? Yeah, yeah, one. yeah. And they, and you know, I read that they said that sometimes it can take a day or two for, you know, work stuff fully loose. Mm -hmm. And and there were a couple times that I took a maybe took a little nap and took a little longer than the appropriate, you know, the allotted time to continue on with things, and and I just kind of kept chucking along and flowing through it. Mm -hmm. So I think I ultimately ended up fil finishing it maybe like 3 a.m. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Just to kind of like, I'm like, I woke up, all right, keep going, Keith, next thing, what's next? And and then I slept and I and, uh, think even that day after, I really didn't go much like that until later on. And it was more the second day after that more things started to flow in the mouth. You threw up the mouth as well as pooing a lot. What's that? Uh, you said you threw up the mouth, threw up through your mouth. No, uh, I'm saying, I'm saying, I'm saying on the, on the, dur during the cleanse. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I threw up through my mouth when I tried taking the second and the third oh, wow. packet. Oh, okay. Yeah. So I, I feel like, I mean, already when I started the day, I feel like I was feeling like a little, not 100% in my body. <laughs> and, and ultimately, it was still very, 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 very effective. Yeah. Did you probably, go? Yeah. Probably the most you know, at this point, probably the most effective thing I've done. Really? The most effective thing you've done? Wow. The reason why I say that is because prior to the Zen, it felt like when I was detoxing, it's like it would detox the pressure will go away for a little bit, but then the pressure will come back. It just, it, it made me like, feel like, oh my goodness, am I going to be detoxing for like the rest of my life? <laughs> it's kind of unpleasant. Mm -hmm. The parts of detoxing are not pleasant. Mm -hmm. A little painful. Mm -hmm. And so... After the Zen cleanse, like I said, like especially like when that spot was kind of flowing out, mm. instead of feeling like it was like some toxins coming out and still just almost like that same pressure and inflammation still being there even after some of it leaves, now it feels like whatever is there is releasing to the root. Mm. Interesting. Yeah. Since I did the Zen. So almost like all them. The big blockages in your body, the meridians, the chakras, or whatever you want to call them, have been removed a lot. The big ones. Yeah. Hmm. A lot of them are along the bladder, the bladder meridian, which is the biggest meridian in the body. Hmm. So the when I did when I did my one, the for, um, the last one I did intestines two weeks ago, I went to sleep and I was like, my muscles were tensing up and relaxing. Like a release. You were saying that, that your girlfriend told you about that, right? She did. Yeah, was, she was very lucky to witness it. My ex, by yeah. the way. But yes, um, she was. She's very lucky to witness it, and I wouldn't have known if she hadn't said it. But it makes sense because I felt different. Um, for the I, I still feel different from it now. 
feel more relaxed inside myself my version of it um me too yeah yeah so it's like i think the muscles get really relaxed on a very deep level from it something's going on with it it yeah like resets your nervous system to a certain degree yeah okay that's really good yeah it resets the nervous system yeah like a long fast would do but you just do this for a day and a friend of mine have you have you ever been on a float tank oh i want to no yeah i highly recommend it dude you would absolutely love it you yeah. love it so so she introduced me to them she's out in texas and she she gave me a, a, a free session that she had and i went and tried it out and so what she did with this place is she entered into an agreement with them where she would float every day for 30 days straight and not only that she floated for two hours instead of one. Oh, yeah and she she made some videos about realizing that what she thought was like baseline like being at rest for her body and for her nervous system mm. was completely not. Like oh, right. Yeah. She discovered a whole new level. She realized she was actually in a highly anxious, yeah, activated state when before mm. when she thought she was resting and calm. Yeah, got you. Yeah, you don't even realize the levels of um, tension that you hold within your body, even though you do a lot of work. And so you do something powerful over and over again that takes you to another level of i don't know relaxment in your own body right right you keep getting a taste of it until you realize and get into the practice of cultivating being able to be there more and more of the time mm. i could also imagine it being great for meditation in that floating tank you can do things other things with it right Ooh. yeah even plant medicines small amounts I, yeah are you, are you still in portugal yeah so i am um first few days here and i'm going to be here a while um yeah it's very hot very hot do they have float tanks there um i don't that's a good question i don't think they do unless it's in the capital city um huh. no i don't think they do have you have you ever put on uh a sleep mask and headphones to go to sleep and like and like something to block sound nope never done that either. i've done sleep masks never the ears too yeah so put on a sleep mask to block out any possible type of light mm -hmm. and and if you really want to go nuts put earplugs in and then like those big earphones like they use when they have like a piece of power equipment that they're using to like mm -hmm. take care of the yard mm -hmm. and and go to sleep like that to block out any possible noise or, or light yeah and see if that that's your dreams that would mimic the float tank you can't hear it's you can't it's see sensing, it's mimicking at least that part of the float tank of the silence and the no light and then you know just spray down yourself down really really well with magnesium oil before you go to sleep <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> Which is again, magnesium oil is really powerful. I forgot about it, and I got back to it lately. And it's it's good to spray yourself with magnesium oil as well. I like it. And for those that um, yeah, that have the aged urine to spray that on the body too. Obviously, all of them are good yes. on the body. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. I have the I have you did the forgiveness already, huh? For for Zen for Zen cleanse the forgiveness. I did it before the, I did it wrong. You're supposed to do the intestines one first. I did the liver first. Sweet, I got it right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Interesting. I didn't yeah. know that. But it, it was meant to be for me because um, I actually am short-sighted due to a vaccine. So my liver is completely toxic. And right. uh, I took the liver one and I had my eyes come back online for uh, many awesome. seconds at a time. And I've never had any protocol do that. Almost like I was destined, like yourself, to have a profound experience with Zen Cleanse liver to teach me mm -hmm. to promote it and to talk about it more to help people because it was so powerful. Yeah. yeah. I feel like, because for me, like the place, because the liver, you usually see it in your eyes. 
Yes. Yeah. Um, so, so for me, that's been, you know, especially with throwing multiple detox protocols at it, my liver has been pumping some heavy iron. <laughs> yeah. And 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 doing and doing doing some work and 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 flowing flowing the stuff out of my body. So. I usually, that's the place where I'll see it the most. Sometimes I'll see my eyes look a little tired or heavy. Mm-hmm. And I, I'm really interested to see what the restore does. I may, mm-hmm. I may even do it tomorrow. Oh, give it a go on the face. Oh my God, yeah. On anywhere, yeah. No, I mean, I mean, no, no I mean the forgiveness. <gasps> oh, you've got the Zen Cleanse forgiveness pack. Look. Ah. Oh, there it is. Amazing. It's got a bigger box than the other one. And I think you'll get very profound results from it. Lots of liver stones out. Yeah. Right. Do you dedicate yeah. yourself to collecting the colander and the poo? Would you be doing that again? Yeah, yeah. So for this time, what I did is is I, I didn't collect it in a colander. And just afterwards, I took like a little bamboo skewer and like pulled it all up onto the side, whatever was stringy and solid. And I took some pictures of it and some video of it. Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah, so I was like, "Ooh, I want to see the pictures." Uh, yeah, yeah. What's so coming? I'll, I'll be posting those those very soon in the in the group after this. Cool. And, yeah. Uh, and yeah, it was. Uh, yeah, it's and you feel it. You feel it moving down in your intestines. Yes, you do. Painful, from what I remember, it was quite painful. Yeah, so I, you know what I envision. I envision like a little a little parasite and they're like holding on like no I don't want to go yeah yes and you're killing him off he doesn't like it he's trying to resist yeah absolutely yeah. it can be painful like and it hits you and 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 they're like wow that was a very interesting feeling yeah 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 I know for me I'm going to be using them every couple of months I'm going to get to do another one in September I'll wait and do the long one for the first time in November I'll, and every few months, keep doing them. Yeah, I feel like I, I would like to do the same. So I, yeah, I just, I just did the intestine ones a week ago, and mm-hmm. and yeah, the other thing, like I was saying, is that is that it's just really like I remember you were saying in your video how you're having these interesting cravings. Oh yes. Oh yeah. Did you get some? Yeah. So like one night I was thinking about like when I was in college and I and I did a semester in Norway and like me and my buddies would take like food from the, the lunchroom and late at night we would like make grilled cheese sandwiches with like ketchup and pe- pepper and, and and like saute up a bunch of stuff. So I made myself this lovely grilled cheese sandwich mm. and it was all made with organic, healthy stuff. And, and, and it actually really resonated well with my body and my digestion. And, and, and I, and I, at one point I ate like a a potato chip Mm -hmm. and it tasted like a thousand times saltier than any other potato chip I've tasted. Like I was so sensitive to the saltiness of it in that moment. Mm -hmm. And I, I like couldn't even really eat it, and wow. so it's interesting. It's like I'm finding myself trying to eat these things that I was used to eating. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they try to pass off as food. Yeah, you get the cravings, and uh, yeah, sensitivity to food increases. Yeah, and 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 yeah, and it's just like I was saying more and more. It's like you're present in the moment. It's it's for me something that really became helpful to be present in the moment is speaking out loud to myself. Just mm-hmm. how they say, like mirror work, you know, when you really look at yourself and you look into your soul and mm-hmm. get to a point of feeling compassion and just do some good breath work and just get present with yourself. Is talking to myself. Like mm-hmm. if I'm about to go grab something to eat. I say out loud, I say, Keith, what are you getting to eat right now? Why are yeah. you getting that right now? Are you getting that to eat right now? Because you just are often thought and feel like eating something because that's your habit. Mm-hmm. 
Are you actually looking for some nourishment for your body or to punch you? Or maybe you're just thirsty or, you know, like, so it's like you just have the conversation out loud with yourself. Mm -hmm. I find it to be a really helpful tool to, to be present with not only food, but everything. You know, what you're yeah. Doing. I have an idea for, for a book that's yeah. going to be, uh, mm -hmm. uh, I guess a, a collaboration, a, you know, a, a, a gathering together of stories, and it's going to be called "Best Day Ever." And so, when I was on this trip to Texas, basically, I went out there. I was like, "Okay, I'm literally following my heart every single day, full on, and just flowing with whatever happens." And there were so many days that I had not planned at all that so much happened during that day that it felt like three or four days in one, first of all. And at the end of the day, you're just kind of smiling and just kind of shaking your head to yourself like, wow, that was like the best day ever. <laughs> and I imagine you have several stories that could be added to that collage of of awesomeness to of best day best days ever where it's like it wasn't even planned and just like look at all yes. these beautiful souls i ran into and all this healing that happened on all this magic that was shared and yeah i'm still learning to let go i guess um but when i do let go of my version more i get um a days where life flows better and magic yeah. happens but i do i think a lot of people in the communities are traumatized and refuse to let go because of fear and we all can learn to get better at it slowly um because that's where the real joy of life is isn't it let go go with the flow because the flow is whatever's going to guide you towards magic you know yeah i feel like that's part of that's part of what what i'm here to to bring to the world i feel like i help people feel free enough to to go there to to to, to join me in being playful and free Yep. Um, it's going to run out in one minute. Do you want to sum up? We can do a part two if you want to. Um, if you want to carry on um, or sum up. Um, I'm also where people can find you as well. You're on Facebook. Um, yeah. Uh, well, all my links are on healthykeith.com slash love. L-O-V-E. It's my, my link tree. Mm -hmm. um, so you can find Earth Dogs there, my Facebook links, my Instagram links. And... Uh, I would love to do a part two. We can either do it right after this or uh, or some other time. I would love to keep talking if you're all yeah. keep talking and happy to do a part two. Let's yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay. Right. Let's end this one. Speaking a bit, bro. Right. Okay.